uh, if well, see in ADC. Hey, the first pick. I can oh. see the first pick is Gokong from Too Much Strife. I see. So, too little Gokong, too much strife. I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that, that's so, sorry, that's a ban. Yeah, not a pick. Minus yeah. it. And Chester ban. And a Chester ban, okay. So, uh, yeah, I can see Chip Roll updating it. Thanks, Chip. <laughs> uh, so, a Chester ban. Ooh, that makes it interesting. Why would they ban Gokong? Hmm. I do not know. That's questionable. Yeah, I mean, Gokong ha has has gotten nerfed like a couple of times. Um, are they afraid that uh, Cattleman will pick Gokong? I mean, he is a really good Gokong. Yeah, he is, but um, for Gokong to be efficient, you kind of have to go to late game. And I don't think that any team is looking forward to a late game um, played game, I guess. Um, but you never know. Yeah. Uh, I I'm kind of surprised that like Hale didn't get banned first, and yeah, Hale is the first pick, of course. Hale was the first pick. All right, so we are doing the uh, Gods of Strife uh, pick and ban. As you can see, guys, we have two bans. So we have the first. We we start off with the ban, then we get a, a pick, another pick, a pick, and another pick, and then we have another ban round, and then we can finish picking. So. People, the teams would really have to think about what they are picking and what they are banning because if you pick only 80, 80 carries, then um, the other team could just pick the tanks and ban, ban a couple of tanks. So, yeah, you should really uh, pick uh, carefully. Let's see. So, they picked a hill and too much strife. All right. Let's Who do you see. think they're gonna pick now? The first pick for. Um, hmm. Let's uh, see. Who who's there? I, I'm 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 guessing. Uh, uh, Harrow or uh, Shank or maybe Bastion. Uh, okay. Uh, Bastion and Harrow. Ah, yeah. The Harrow wasn't surprising at all. <laughs> no. Um, but Bastion. Bastion is a good tank, of course. I have a feeling uh, Beba is gonna play Bastion, but I'm not sure. Uh, he might play like a tinder too. He's a good tinder as well. Um, Harrower, well, that that's reeks of a of a, of a Cattleman Joe pick because he, they took away the hill and 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 the Gokong. Um, so yeah, too much strife. They had they have a ray pick. Oh, see, cool. Uh, that's that's a lot of damage. That's that's damage they need. Um, I mean, Ray does a ton of magic damage, and they have already have a bruiser. On their team, I think Hill will probably go bot lane because uh, he's pretty good there. Um, I'm not sure if Harrower is going bot lane and if he could counter the Hill. Not sure. As long as he gets farm, he'd be okay. But I think uh, Hill will push that. So let's see. Um, yeah, who, who who do you think is gonna play Ray on uh, too much strife? Um, I'm not sure. I mean. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the with the names. Uh, I I know Rev. Rev is a really good player. He used to be in uh, in AR. Um, <laughs> I guess, but um, Rev is usually playing like ADC. I think. Yeah, or or Zaku. <laughs> yeah, or Zaku, yeah. But maybe Panda Style on right, depending on what they pick next. Oh so yeah, I've seen him. Uh, Panda Style usually play Mage or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him play Jinshi a lot. Uh, lately or uh, on the last tournament that we oh, casted maybe, maybe. Um, let's see there's another ban round going on so let's see who they would ban what a what is left ban. what is left there's a moxie ban all right so moxie is is banned um, so d guys these are left to pick still I mean they can still go for ace Jinchi, bandido lady tinder melody midnight blazer bow buford I haven't seen a Buford pick yet. Minerva, Caprice, Carter, Nikolai. Um, of course, the new yeah. guy, Rib. Let's see. Yeah. We so, actually saw um, Relit play uh, Buford in Gods of Strife last, last week. Relit? Ah, oh, I yes. see. Well, Buford um, is really squishy, though. Yeah, but he's really strong. Uh, Lots of damage. damage. Yeah, that's true. 
and a melody band. So all right. So surprisingly, they they this, at the second band they both banned magic uh, heroes. So wow, that's kind of surprising in my opinion, because they still have like uh, eighty carries out there. Like Vermilion is is still pickable. Featherstone is still pickable. Uh, even Blazer. And we see Aya pick from Captain Joe. All right. So Aya is picked. Um, Aya will be picked on the Kettleman Joe team. That is TGP. Any any clue what, that, what for what that stands? I I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> all right, like, all right. TGP picked Aya. You can tell. And then uh, too, it's up to too much, right? It'd be. Uh, this Claudessa Featherstone. All right, Claudessa and Featherstone. Some nice picks. They got their tank. They got their AD carry. They have their magic damage with Ray. They have a Bruiser with Hill. So it's starting out to look like a good team comp. On the other side, they, they uh, TGP has Bastion, their tank. They have their ADC with Harrower. I'm not completely sure how much damage Aya would do, but Aya is a great pusher against towers. Um, and very annoying with the slows. Let's see what they sure. would pick. What do you think, Ninzi? Let's see. Maybe uh, I'd like to see a rip pick, uh, but probably like Shank. The Trixie and Saku. Then we know that Catman Joe is probably gonna play Saku. <laughs> <laughs> he, he keeps surprising me though. <laughs> I would really have thought he would pick Harrower. Uh, I'm wondering who's gonna play Zaku. Maybe even the surprise Beba on Zaku. Uh, that would be nice too. Yeah, but I think that Tarosh will play Harrower. I think Tarosh could also play Trixie. He's a mean Trixie. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. Or maybe Eiffel on Harrower bottom. Yeah, yeah. That, that is, that's going to go to Eiffel. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. I kind of forgot him about him. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? He's my clanmate. <laughs> that, that's why. That's why. <laughs> oh, all right. I see. <laughs> I see where this is going. So, 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 what is the last pick of uh, too much strife? Um, don't know yet. Maybe a shank. Uh, but Let's yeah, see. I think shank. Shank is a good pick. Always a good pick. Let's see, Aya's kind of squishy. Zaku needs to, uh, to be stunned. Jin, Jin Shi is the pick. I, the last pick here. Yeah, I thought they would need stuns. I would probably gone for Caprice myself. But Jin Shi also has the stun. And could really be annoying to Zaku. Especially when Zaku is, you know, uh, channeling. Then at least Jin Shi can uh, make a stun if he's in the same lane. So, that, so that's not bad. Alright. So we're off to match A, guys. Too much strife against TGP, and let me just switch the cast to in-game mode. Let's see. There we go. Game capture. All right. And I also want to pronounce something here. Um, recently we had a release on in uh, an app on Chrome or whatever um, called uh, what is it? Odd TV. Uh, Odd shot. Um, it's basically like if you're watching a stream on uh, Twitch like this, you can actually save your replay, your own replays, like highlights and shit. It's kind of good. So check that out, guys. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> um, okay. I'm just I'm just looking at the at the game lobby. Sorry about that. Um, all right, is everybody ready? That that's the main question. So we can start streaming this and. St Start having some good old fun. I can see in comment by Jean like Eiffel win rate is uh, really good on Harrer. Yeah, he he's a beast. He's a beast on Harrer. He knows he knows what to do. He usually goes bot lane and just farms like crazy. Uh, but we will see what happens. Uh, well, let's see. There should be one minute until the match begins. Yeah, nice. And let's see if there are any other comments. 
Oh yeah, Art Shot TV. What is that? You explain it briefly. What is that exactly? You can watch your replays and stuff. No, you can, you can uh, save your own replays. Like um, um, if you're watching this this stream, for example, you can uh, pick whenever you want to um, cap like a video. For for example, if it's a good team fight, you can capture that and then save it as a replay and maybe post it on Reddit and so on. Um, it's kind of cool. It's a new idea. And um, they actually had their release on uh, DreamHack, or they do have it right now. So, um, so is it, I, is it is it for Twitch or for yes, yeah, uh, Twitch basically. I see. Um, but it's it's not Twitch that made it. Oh, we're and and we are loading the game. All right, let's see what pets they picked. I see Kettleman Joe with plunder, Eiffel with plunder. Tarwash with plunder, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Beba with mystic, and Noob with plunder. That's a that's a four four plunder lane. <laughs> that's a pushing team for sure. Moldova with mystic, Napinas with with bounder, uh, two more plunders, and Ref with Tink. Tink. Yeah, I haven't seen Tink, but at least it's a counter to plunder. At least <laughs> 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 I have a feeling they're gonna need that. <laughs> Yeah, true that, but Tink on Hail, that's a new one. Yeah, yeah, Rev is playing uh, playing Hail. I, I like that new skin with the big sword. Like, he's like, what is he? Uh, is that a yeah, sailor or a lieutenant or what, what is that? Uh, lieutenant or something, military ish. <laughs> but it's the Spectre's pack, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the Steam special pack, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Panda style on Jin Shi, yeah, that, that was a logical pick, I guess. We see we seen him play Jin Shi uh, last game. Uh, Napinas on Featherstone. I remember Napinas playing a lot of Featherstone, so he'd be good as long as he doesn't sell any Frost Prisms, he'd be fine. <laughs> um, cool guy. I haven't heard much about Cool guy. I've seen him around. Um, He's kind of new, a new player. I haven't played against him personally. Uh, but from what I've seen, he, he he's he's pretty decent. He, so this this is a a good team comp at least. So let's see what they can do against. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna view Tarmash on Trixie. Yeah, that was bound to happen. And Noob on Bastion. Beba on Aya. So I'm wondering if you're gonna go full mana support or not. Kettleman Joe on Zaku. And Eiffel with the with the with the heart on his helmet on Herrer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right, nice. The classic, classic skin for Hero. Yeah, we're currently still waiting for uh, Eiffel and for Napinas to load up. And uh, let's see. We already see some items picked. Uh, Enoop is going for the health regen as a first item. Uh, Beba is going for the glacial gem. Tarvus is going for the big. Uh, what is that? The big mana regen. Yeah, the big mana regen. Same for Zaku. And on the other side, you can see that Cool Guy is going for the two small mana regens. And Panda Style is going for the big. Um, what is that? Fervidity Stone. Yeah. The big uh, health regen. Cool. Moldova is going. Yeah, for the for the fell bit. Uh, I I would assume I can I cannot see this for some reason, but I would assume that's with with the mana regen inside it. Because it is. It is. It wouldn't uh, make like much sense if it wasn't. Yes, but, uh, it, it, it's with mana region. Okay. So let's see. So we're currently and Napinas connected, and he bought a fell blade as well. Yeah, mana uh, region that as well, and a craft with uh, haste. Haste. On it. Uh, that's not a bad craft for Featherstone. I mean, he he does lack some speed, so any speed would be nice. Um, can you, just in case, Ninzi, can you just check if if the stream is uh, up and running and everything's fine? Did it switch the screens correctly? <laughs> um, yeah, it's look. It looks like shit, but no. Thank, thanks for making me wonder that. Uh. <laughs> so no, I, it's all good. so we can see Hill with starting off with two virility shards. All right, so he Rev is really trying to push that 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 health regen. He's probably going bot, and he's probably gonna face Eiffel. That is. Surprisingly, still connecting. 
is uh, <laughs> might be. And he he's actually in now. But yeah, I uh, think that hail bottom. No, no, no. We see Jinshi bottom. Actually. Ooh, nice. We see a good luck, have fun. Um, teams here. So we have Panda Star with with the baby plunder on bottom. I'm just all right. And then we have Ray. Yeah, what is that? Is it gonna be a jungle hill? Maybe? Is it is this a jungle tactic? Like he has Tink. He can put Tink on the tower and just jungle it? I doubt it. To be honest. And uh Ooh, Eiffel, Eiffel lagged out. I, I don't think we're gonna see uh Jungle Hail. Um Then he'd probably put uh pick like uh, Luster or maybe what's it's called? The new one? Or can a new one? Ficky? Yeah, Ficky. Yeah, I, I haven't seen a, a Ficky tactic that much uh, in uh, in tournaments. It, it's really good. Indeed. Uh, especially if you, for example, mid lane. Uh, <laughs> the, the classic Plunder and Ficky. I can see, see Taros bringing out a shout out to Natsuki and his Dream Warriors. May the force be warriors. drama warriors. Wow, wow. <laughs> what, what, what is what is that about? Did I miss something? Is that is that is that a snacks anti snacks thing or? <laughs> uh, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> and his drama warriors. May the force be with you against Team Relit. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need that against Relit. I mean, he's the. I think he's the current reigning champion team, right? I mean, they won the last cup, didn't they? Did and um, they won Gods of Strife. Um, Ooh! Last week I was actually playing with them. Um, how about that? Um, but yeah, rally usually like every tournament. <laughs> uh, uh, they got they got a strong team, rally Minky and so on. Yeah, well, Lalonde is also a really good player. So I mean, this is probably the team to beat. So let's hope. Uh, Natsuki can bring some surprises to the table. You never know. Uh, let's see. I I've seen Evil Noob win a couple of games against them. So, Are any? As Evil Noob is uh, also a really good player, also a really good uh, bot laner. Um, and I've said it before, but I'd say that Evil Noob and Minke is probably the best uh, bot lanes um, players we got on EU at least. Yeah, on, on EU. I mean, Pokey is also really known to play bot lane as well. So don't underestimate the US players. I mean, they are really good. Um, I haven't seen Relic gone bot like ever. He's always mid lane. That That's his lane, and he just lo loves to own his lane and start, start ganking other stuff. Uh, I haven't seen him go bot. Uh, Minky feels really comfortable there. So does uh, Pokey. Hmm. I remember Headshot play when he was still playing. He was also really good on uh, bot lane. Yeah, he was. Uh, I actually was up against him a few times. He was playing uh, Jinji bottom or Shank. <laughs> That's it, Shank. Uh, still got a pause though. I yeah, yeah. Some connection issues. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can see uh, people commentating. <laughs> But yeah, we see a top lane with Aya and Saku. It's gonna be a strong uh, pushing lane. Sure. Yeah. And can my joke out that Clonder? I I, I kind of feel bad for this Claudessa and Featherstone, in my opinion. Yeah, they they don't really have anything to counter with. No, no, just they're fully reliant on this um, Claudessa pool and the Featherstone shield and slogs to do something but i have a feeling that this lane is gonna be gonna be pushed so hard it's, it's hard to stop and especially since the chester ban there's not really a hero that can stop this combination i think um no but at the same time i'd say that this point of I uh, think that Ray would be better to have top lane with his mines. It's easier to clear um, their wave, Ray, than Claudessa and Featherstone. But not up to me. 
Yeah, I know I know what you mean, but it's all about last hitting. But Indeed. let's see what we're gonna do. Eiffel still trying to connect. <laughs> twenty four percent almost there. Even twenty five now. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's probably the Israeli in connection for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just at, as you said that, he went 10% up. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. And I can see uh, some trash talk in the Twitch uh, chat. <laughs> well, Lalonde is a noob and uh, Binky is a really bad bot laner. <laughs> <laughs> so viewers, what do you think is who's gonna win this game? Is you think Kettleman Joe's team is gonna provide with a win, or do you think uh, what is that? Whose team is this? Ref's team is is gonna win. Let me just call it Ref's team. Uh, I'm not sure who the who the exact captain is. I know Kettleman it's Joe is cool, a captain. Cool, cool guy is the captain. Cool guy is the captain. Okay, cool guy's team, or is it Cool Guy X? <laughs> just, what, what, let's just call him Cool Guy. What what does the X stand for? It makes me curious. Is is that a kiss or is that what is that? <laughs> All right. Maybe maybe a ten. <laughs> a ten, yeah, yeah, like a Roman ten, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, it seems like they are ready here. Hopefully we can get an unpause. Uh, screen is black. Okay, looks good. Finally, we're. Starting. Sorry about that, yeah. You better be Eiffel. <laughs> <laughs> and Eiffel starts with a throwing axe. Throwing axe, is that with health regen or...? It's with mana regen as well, and um, desolation of course. Mana regen, alright. Now the desolation craft does give you, what is it, 120% damage? Uh, it gives you, let's see, 10% more damage to non-hero units. I see. Oh yeah, deals ten percent more damage to non-hero humans. Okay. You can see mid lane Ray put out three mines here. Get the extra early push. Surprisingly, there's no first wave plunder. I mean, they have two plunders on the team, and everyone has, seems to have this baby plunder. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I think they were counting on those uh, mines from Ray, so it kind of okay. would be a yeah, we, 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 waste. We, oh, that Trixie pots are so annoying. Yeah, let, let, let's see, they plundered the first wave. Um, so this means that they're going to pressure uh, the turret. And we see things pop out. Yeah, all right. Well, that, that pretty much took away all the plunders in like two shots. Wow, nice. Um, let's talk, let's go to top lane and see what we see there. Uh, Napinos is taking a shit ton of damage. I'm not sure how. Uh, probably the channeling and the slows from Aya. I mean, they are very annoying to do. Yeah, it's keep getting poked and harassed. Zaku is just planting these healing pods. <laughs> wow, you, this you can see how top lane is really pushed. It's getting pushed to the tower all the time. Yeah, you predicted it, Ninzi. This is a horrible lane to fight against. <laughs> yes, and you can also see at the GPM that they are really far ahead. Already? To, yes, it's uh, over 100 difference. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. Alright, and you can see um, Harrow is actually pressuring the Jinshi on bottom lane. Let, let's take a view at that. There we go. Jinshi is out of mana, so Eiffel just gradually poking away, seeing if he can farm without making any missteps. You can see the panda style having a bit of difficulties last hitting under tower. It's plunder against plunder. Oh, wow, he's taking tons of damage there. I'm not sure if he can hold it, but uh, I, I think he's going for an early golden protector, I'm not sure. But it, it looks like it. Uh, that would uh, be beneficial for him. Yeah, Hale is definitely going for a golden protector. Or Mi who? Mid lane is pretty equal by the looks of it. And top lane is still getting pressured really badly. Uh, top lane both at 280 GPM. Wow. 
And well, the pa pandas I actually bought a glacial gem. A glacial gem. Let's see that. Yeah. Wow. For the extra mana regen, I guess. Yeah, he needs that. He he's low. So it's not bad. I think then golden protector might be his second item. Then we'll see. Yeah, probably. Wow, those those sand elemental things are so annoying. <laughs> um, I'm I'm just saying. Oh, wow. Yeah, Callum and Joe may put the healing pots in the bush, right on the on there, so that when the Aya gets hit or gets pulled in, he just goes back and heals up. While well, they can keep keep pressuring the turret. The, the turret is slowly taking a lot of damage. It's almost halfway down. Wow, that's that's pretty quick. I mean, at what minute are we in the game? It's not that. Um, three fifty-five. Yeah. So, and the first turret is always almost halfway down. That's that's fast. Oh, I guess that was their strategy. I can see a bastion getting a golden protector. Let's go mid lane then. Let's see. So a noob is gonna get a golden protector. Uh, Anoop also ex Idet, Taros also ex Idet. So these guys have been playing together uh, for a while. So are probably tough to beat since they know each other very well. Let's see. We can see the plunder once once again. Yeah. Ooh! And ooh! Ray is, is he go? No! No! Oh, wow! Ray made a mistake there, but. Ref is holding on. I think maybe he should teleport back or something. I'm not sure, but he's just holding on there. Uh, he's he's yeah. potting up. He's potting up. All right. Double pots. Yeah, he has to. He has to if he wants to do something. But that third Trixie pot is, does so much damage. Yeah, and we can see top lane. Uh, they are pushing really hard. It's less than half HP now. Yeah. There's nothing that they can do. They can just try to last hit as much as they can. And hopefully they can put someone in. If not, then the Aya would just go back to the healing pots while Zaku is just channeling the the turret. Oh, and there's a pause. There's a pause. Once again. But yeah, we can see that Zaku, he got his golden protector. I think that Harold is going for a golden protector as well uh, with uh, attack speed and uh, health and mana region. Um. Trixie got a golden. Aya with the glacial gem. No wow. surprise. S shall we? At the end of this game, we should count how many golden protectors are in this game. I mean, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, Bastion with a golden protector, Trixie with a golden protector, Zaku yeah. with a golden protector, and we already see Hale and Claudessa with a golden protector. I have six a goldens. <laughs> oh, yeah, already, and we're still. Some people are. I think some people are still building that golden protector. Uh, yeah, we can see that Jin Chi is building it, yeah. and um, Herwer is building it. Wow, Napinos is taking a shit ton of damage, and the and turret is almost that. down. Look at that top tower. There's nothing And we see a, a bit harassing bot lane. Eiffel actually takes the most damage. Well, that's good. I mean, a panda style needs to get some farming going against his Herwer, because this is too passive. I'm I'm not say, saying that, but let's see. But the Hera is already at 500 GPM almost. Yeah, he, we, we can see that uh, TGP is already over 2000 GPM ahead. Yeah, let, let's take a look at that gold graph. Let, let me just pop that up. Yeah, so, th so this is what Ninzy West has been saying. Almost 2000 already. Jeez. And they're still gaining lead. And the experience graph is also in their favor. So... I wonder, someone. Alright, experience graph, yeah. Someone needs to do something. Aya is going uh, mid now. Yeah, mid lane uh, has been pretty equal, so they need someone to push it, and Zaku can just. Oh, the first tower is already down, top. Oh, we missed that. Well, it wasn't a big surprise. There's not much that they could do. So, yeah. Oh, and he tinked the tower, and. Yeah, Tink is such so good with the splash damage against that, uh, what you call it, the plunder wave. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
And don't so forget, we... don't forget that the hill also gets gold off that, of those kills. When when you pop Tink on the tower, and you kill the the minions or the the brawlers, you get gold off that as well. Uh, actually, Ray gets this as well. So the whole lane gets gold from it. Oh, I didn't know that. That's I think good. It's like that, at least. But hundred percent sure, but. Look look at top, Katama Joe is even pushing even more. Let's see, I have, have a too feeling much strife having a really hard time pushing that top tower. Yeah, I, I think they had too much strife. <laughs> too lame? <laughs> okay, too lame, okay. I <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm I'm just focusing on mid because I, I have a feeling that something is gonna happen there sooner or later. Because there's three people Six people in, in mid lane. <laughs> I mean, yeah, y you called it. Harris got golden protector as well, and Jinchi also got a golden protector. <laughs> wow. So, uh, seven goldens. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. I guess I guess it's getting very popular. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen one on Trixie that much though. Let's see what, what, what he what he has in that golden protector. It's a big uh, mana regen and two power and a restoration. Grants five percent increased health. We can see Aya is rotating bottom now. Panda style slowly coming back. No. Let's see nah. He's just regening a bit. Aya trying still trying to do something. Gank, ooh, he mispositions himself. He wasn't expecting Aya as well. Oh, a stunned the Aya. Doing some damage. Pop the yeah, heal. He, 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 alive. he actually did a lot of damage on the Aya. Yeah, his, his ult did a lot of damage there, so... Really good for him, but... They should probably rotate someone bottom now. You can see that they are pushing really hard. Yeah, but mid is also getting pressured uh, really bad. And top is yeah. top Featherstone goes down. Sorry guys, we missed this, but Featherstone goes down to the Zaku. I'm not sure how it happened. Did Zaku pop his ult? Yes, he popped his ult. So probably what happened was uh, Featherstone got a kill on on Zaku. He popped his ult just in time to revive, and then the Bucks came out and and, and killed not Pinas our Featherstone. And bot tower for uh, too much strife is down. Yeah, bot tower is also also gone. Couldn't do much against two people. I mean, Panda Style is trying to ca carry on against this Harrier. I feel very experienced on bot lane, though. Uh, it's really annoying to take care of, especially with a melee against Harrier. I mean, that range is annoying. Let's yeah. see, mid lane is mid lane is holding on there, but wow! I hope they do better in team fights because currently the pushing wise, uh, yeah, that. They're really taking a plummet in the in the gold graph. Yeah, but but TGP got a really strong pushing team, so um, they are definitely going for a short time game, I guess. Um, but surprisingly, it's 11 minutes in and only one kill. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty passively. Uh, they're not giving it away. That's for sure. Um, only Napinash died, and that was a pretty much a mistake, I think. Uh, yeah, mid, probably. mid tower is taking tons of damage. Wow, so I, I, I think mid tower will go down. Yeah, mid tower gone down. Uh, there's not much that they could do against three people, especially with those Trixie pods and Aya. I mean, Aya is such a good pusher because now your abilities does damage on the towers. Uh, it's really hard to stop. We can see that TGP is. Uh Almost like four and a half a thousand gold ahead. Uh, uh, Bebar is, I think Bebar is going behind the Featherstone to take down. Wow, top lane. Yeah, Beba. Wow, that's some damage. See if Zaku can do anything. Wind, and the oh, wind rush. The wind rush and wow, the shield. The shield. No, oh, yeah. Featherstone goes down. Uh, the fun descent elemental. <laughs> that's a lucky last hit right there. Thought the Cladessa here would would maybe save him, but. Uh, too bad. Nice try by Cool Guy, though. I mean, there's not much he could do. That Aya just walked a totally different route just to get that uh, 
Featherstone. Some good plays. Let's see. You can see Eiffel just farming camps. While Jinchi is just trying to last hit some brawlers on bottom. In mid lane, yeah, they're trying to just damage that ray. Uh, poke it down, slowly moving towards that uh, tier 2. And you can tell that top is... I think they're doing a ball there. I'm not sure. It sure looks like that. They're preparing for it at least. That's for sure. Yeah, oh, they yeah. started it. Yeah, they started it. And you can he planted the Zaku trap as well. There's three it's, people it, doing this ball there. It's kind of sneaky ball there. But they are on to them. They I'm haven't sure. been able to finish it. Hill pops yeah, in, pops his ult. Nope. Why would he pop that ult? Oh, why? Oh, the Zaku really trap. Bad eye ult. Oh. Why would he, he do that? Alive, that? Oh, Bastion got out with one hit. Can we actually see that, uh, too much they are taking the ball there, though. Yeah. yeah. Can they? Oh, they took a. Uh, the Trixie trying to damage, trying to get one of them. And that Windrush to uh, get away easy. Yes. Who has that wind rush, by the way? Oh, Ray. Uh, Ray has yes. that wind rush. Yes. She actually got a dampening token now as well, so. Getting a bit tanky now. We we can see that um, Harrower is going for Ceiling Lux Blade. It's a spike in their favor, at least, so. Gold Rev, um, too much strife is still losing. But you can see them slowly climbing back. If they can pop up a few of these team fights, then yeah, it might actually go in their favor again. Let's see. Top lane Ayas rotating to try to trap the Featherstone again, but this he time it didn't ready. work he out. Yeah, he he got warned probably by his teammates. I'm not sure if Napinas is letting that happen again. Oh no 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 no! Top lane. Yeah, he he bounded out and he could save himself. Wow, that that was a, almost a, a a big misplay by by Napinas there. Uh, you, we, you, we, we, oh, sorry. You can tell Zaku is going for the mana shield, the spirit ward. Yeah, and Tarosh, uh, Trixie got a curse one now. Trixie got a curse one. Let's see. And uh, Harrower is free farming bottom. Yeah. Basically. I, I, I mean, Panda Style is getting his farm on as well. He's not doing too badly, but a fed Harrower? Wow. That's... Uh, it's never good. That's, that's never a good thing, no. <laughs> Definitely not. That, that's like... Yeah. I mean, Harrower is one of those heroes that when he gets snowballing, he's just like doing shit ton of damage, and it's hard to stop. You can see something is gone. Uh, something is going on top lane. They're just moving left and right seeing what they can do or to try to pick off a kill But nothing is is engaged. No one is engaging so far Bastion getting really tanky. He's going for the old-fashioned build with the Everwinter Charm. I Don't think Everwinter Charm is that good in my opinion not anymore. Uh, I totally agree with you um Maybe you but need to slow on Bastion for his ult. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm not a Bastion player. But I we don't. Can, we can see top now. Uh, better uh, and Ray rotating, but yeah. Again with the mana shield. Taking damage on that tier two. You can see Callum and Joe and Baba just taking down camps. Trixie is doing the same thing. Harrow too. So they're just farming. Uh, and you can see that experience wise they are taking the lead uh, around 3000 experience difference. Both teams are getting ready for Baldir now. They still have an advantage in the gold so let's see this team fight, let's see what this brings because there's four people yeah they're all going They're all going to the next Baldir there, there is something gonna happen here. Yeah, even bottling is going. Claudessa so is engaging this fight at the moment. They're waiting for Harrow to be a part of it before they do anything and they're off. Napinas taking damage. Jeez. Oh, he survives. Pop ult. A noob just took down Featherstone. Aya ult popped. Zaku 
popped his. Bastion will go down, probably. Pan can Panda do anything? Ooh, that that Aya, so close. Oh. Panda, oh, Panda goes down. It's three against against five. They're all still up from the. Uh, wow, Panda almost got that Aya and almost got that that <laughs> that error. Some great escapes by their their team. You can see those uh, Saku pots getting to use though. Yeah, is that, is, ooh, can I? No, the mana shield popped. Baba stays alive again. I, I'm not sure if this is a great plan with three people to go in. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Uh, they should definitely pull back, but oh, that's nice. Ah, she's fine. Fat the stone is back up. They still haven't done ball there. <laughs> it's just I team. Haven't even started it. Yeah, it's just team fights left and right, and too much strife is just taking some damage right there. Bastion goes in, takes a small amount of damage, but still, the Zaku heals is so annoying. Tarish throwing a pot, damaging that ray. Just could yeah. just get out. They are starting Baldir now for sure. You can see the eye voice. Taking him down kind of easy. Yeah, I, I think Eiffel, especially with the mana shield of uh, Cattleman, can take down that body fairly easy. Panda style goes in, stuns the Trixie. And look, look bottom, it's a lot of minions bottom. It's a wind rush. They really need oh. to pick up some kills. The ref teams really need to do something. Featherstone and Ray pretty low again. Yeah, they should really go back and just farm up. And indeed, you can see bottom lane pushing on its own, uh, taking damage to that tier two as well. This is this isn't looking good for too much strife. Definitely not. Eiffel's already about four hundred, five hundred and eighty. GPM, that's fairly good. Let's see what he's building. He, he's getting the, he's starting off with a throwing axe with desolution, desolation, uh, and the golden protector with adaption, with uh, actually attack speed, health regen and mana regen in it, and then the Z dot blade for the extra, extra speed, uh, with vampirism. Any, uh, one of us is building now, but. Maybe uh, he's building a vamp dagger. You can see Aya pushing the, the, the tier 2 on top lane. Just It's like a, a free tier 2. Zaku is joining in. Uh, yeah, this will go down for sure. Could they do something? I mean, Claudessa and Featherstone are just popping up. Wind Rush, Mana Shield. Can they get out? Thunder. I'm not sure. I think they can get out. Ooh, there goes the Devil Winter. Ooh, the Zaku world popped on Aya. Aya still alive. Can they get Aya? Yes. Aya will go down. Aya went down. He almost survived there. Trixie taking damage mid. Uh, let's yeah. see. Bastion popped his ult. And they just plundered the wave and slowly put back to pushing again. <laughs> let's see. On bottom is pretty passively, passive farming. You get Panda still just trying to get the last hits. Uh, Harrow, oh, level 14 already. Just doing shit tons of damage. And keep keep in mind that TGP has still got all towers left. All T1 towers. Yeah, that that that's not that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> no, definitely not. Especially since it's uh, almost 22 minutes in. Let's see the gold graph. They're, yeah, they're, they're falling behind really far. Uh, they need to start picking off kills or get objectives. I mean, their tier 2 is already gone. Zaku already finished it. Um, you can see Raven, Ray, trying to, to get a sneaky ball there, but... Um, Bastion... I'm not, I'm not sure they will get this, though. No, maybe, but yeah, at, at what yeah, cost? They, they will. They, they will get it. At what cost, though? We'll, we will see. They got the ball there. Ray will go down. Uh, Ray went down. Let's see, Napinas trapped. Napinas will, will go, go down. down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
so two kills for one ball there. Is that worth it? I'm not sure. I mean, it's I, it's I something. Know. It's it's something to put in that favor. Let's see the gold graph. It's pretty much equal. I mean, they had a spike and they dropped back to where they, where they were. So wasn't that much of a difference, but yeah, they had to do something. I mean, they we couldn't see, just. If you look bottom though, Eiffel will probably go down here. Oh, Eiffel oh, he, escaped. He survives. Yeah, he survives. Hera is so fast though. Hill's trying to stop them from pushing the gen. Uh, they seem to struggle. Too much strife is really struggling in getting that. I mean, look at that mid tower. It's almost almost gone as well. Yeah, they could easily just dive it and hit it twice, or even maybe even once. I, I think one Trixie pot would do it. <laughs> yeah, true, true. L let's look at Tarosh's build on Trixie though. I mean, he's he's a one of the few good Trixie players left in this game. I mean, there are some really good Trixie players. Don't get me wrong, but. I mean, Charmer's pretty old school on Trixie. He he went for the Golden Protector. It's a very uncommon build. Then the Cursed Wand with Craft. Then the Oracle Trinket with Protection. Cleanses all allies in 500 radius. Hmm. I see. Let's take a look at Ref's build on that hill as well. Uh, Golden Protector, Mystic Dagger, and Barrier Token. I can I, I can get that. I mean, there's lots of magic damage on the enemy's team, so a barrier token isn't that that bad. Can get uh, into but it. I I still don't know about the barrier token, to be honest. Um, I would definitely say that he should maybe go for a bigger tank item instead, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, but Zaku is magic. Trixie is magic. Aya. And I think that Bastion's... Is Bastion magic? Um, I think so. Is actually, but, yeah. but I, I'd say that probably a, a Guardian Helm would be a better choice. Yeah, maybe he's uh, getting that next, I'm not sure. I mean, tier 2 on bottom is taking a lot of damage. I think Ifo actually got this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Ben, I couldn't do much about it. I mean, look at the GPM yeah. graphs, like 619 gold for the Harrower. Panda style at 470. He's getting his ass oh, fricked. Trixie, Trixie will go down though. Trixie went down. down. Oh. Bastion popped his ult. Gets stunned by the Ray. Oh, yeah, yeah, he two dies. Double kill by Featherstone. That's really good for uh, too much strife. Yeah, that's what they need. I mean, and now they need to get, get pushing, but this Harrower will join in the fight. And Saku they really popping want a trap. This now, but you can see the the, the sneaky Aya uh, sand pit on the Baldir, so they cannot engage the Baldir and do it do it quick. They would have to wait. Yeah, and now they started the Baldir, but ooh, hail is in trouble. Hail ult, nice hail ult, death protection. Uh oh. Kettleman Joe goes down. Kettleman Joe went down. They're still doing the Baldir pretty quick. This this is really, really, really good for uh, too much strife. Let's see the gold graph. What that did is they they are making a small comeback. They're still way behind, but at least they have dark waves uh, because this is their third Baldir already. Wow. I mean, late game. I mean, if they could get another three Baldirs, then hey, I mean six dark waves. Then I mean the first dark wave round is three. The second will be uh, will be six, yes. and maybe they can take away some towers with this as well. Yeah, hopefully for their sake, mid will not go down. Or heavily defended. The bot wave is pushing with a pretty big wave. You can see uh, Eiffel trying to hurry up there and try to save the tower. Uh, top is a s with a small wave, but s slowly pushing. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not really sure why Jinxi and Ray didn't go bottom earlier. At least now Jinxi is bottom, but they should have gone really much sooner. You yeah. can see Harrower is just <laughs> eating them up. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. Pandasa might even go down here. Yeah, I think he will. 
maybe it was smarter for him to stay near the creep wave. I'm not sure. Yeah, Pandastar yeah. will go. Oh, no. Can he heal him? No. Nope. Oh, too late. But Ifo will go down. It's one for one. That's actually a good trade for too much strife. Especially Don't. since um, Harrow is the highest GPM. Yeah, yeah, he's at 600 GPM. So they got uh, a good kill off that. Let's see the goal. Yeah, they, they're cl slowly climbing back. Uh, on top lane, uh, Featherstone is taking a lot of damage by the Zaku. I'm not sure if he can do much against that Zaku though. We can actually see Zaku got Eye of Tempera now. Mid lane is pushing. Ba it's just Bastion and Trixie there. You can see Rev trying to really carry his teammates. Uh, after that barrier token, he actually got that Guardian Helm you were talking about. The that's a really good item. But uh, w once again, Kenma Joe is going for the Eye of Tempera. Um, did anyone see how Panda Style go down, get, got down by by, by Eiffel, right? Just we we didn't yeah. know we we saw that already. Yeah, we did. Uh, Eiffel building a crushing mace and stone skin. So, uh, Featherstone also building a stone skin. Hmm. You got five people mid, and people gathering at the next Baldir. I think this is this is gonna be a Baldir game. Uh, the old in the old days, you just could see people gathering around Kaidos. But uh, to these days, there's just one ball there after another. We see Claudessa pops his ult though. Rev goes in. I think Napinos might go down here. Yeah, yeah Na Na Napinos and Ray. Well. Wow. A bit too early. Uh, ult Ooh! Oh, yeah, there. Cool guy will go down as well. Oh, Panda will go down. No, oh, he's Error. a rose, but. Yeah, he will go. Did, 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 did you guys see that uh, Zaku move by Kettleman? It was really good. He got the Eye of Tempra. He just blocked three people from that fight to ensure that, that they could bring down the Squishies as fast as possible. So Featherstone went down pretty quick and Ray too. And just put three people out of that fight. That's why it's a, it's a Eye of Tempera is a really strong item. Especially on Zaku, he, he just puts the Eye on Tempera and then does, does the Zaku trap and then even the hill couldn't escape. So they got a full team wipe. Yeah, this... So uh, at, at the moment we thought they were making a small comeback, they are actually losing in GPM again. It's uh, really going in their favor now. That was a bad team fight for much strife. Yeah, that definitely. They could have done a, a lot better at this. Well, there's nothing wrong yet. I mean, there's still three gens up. Uh, and as far as I know, you can always make a comeback in Strife. But uh, they are definitely not uh, making it easy for them. Yeah, for sure. We can see the Bastion is uh, building uh, probably a full HP uh, tank item. Health Relic and uh, Health Crystal, so... He's looking to be... Yeah, even tankier now. Yeah, he, he's definitely a lot of tanky. Also with a, with some power, at least there. Uh, let's take yeah, a look at the kill on deaths as well. Um, you can see Napinos has died five times already. Ouch. So... Moldova died two eyes, and Pandastal died three times. You can see that they are ooh, aiming up here for uh, Sindara. Yeah. Yeah, what well, the top lane is pushed, so I'm not sure if that's uh, the best way to go about, but. Alright. Let's see what happens here. Napinos taking some pokes. Zaku planting some traps and pots. Ooh, almost the Eye of Tempra there on the Ray. Eye of Tempra on cooldown. What's that cooldown on the... I don't I don't quite see it. Napinos is trying to get Eiffel. It's not working out for him. Why doesn't Napinos put out that stone skin? I don't understand that. Napi went down. Jinshi also went down. So it's 3 against 5. And you can see the Zaku healing pots just 
are up there, so they just take that. Hera automatically has the vampirism and basic heals on his things, so there's not much that they can do. I think they're going going for uh, Shindara. Yeah, definitely, and uh, the IIE there to speed it up even more. And yeah, the mana Manor. shield. Cool guy trying to stop them. It's not much that you can do against five people. Uh, they, cool they, down, we'll yeah. yeah, he goes down. They try. They blocked Ray out of that fight. Uh, Ray almost got, gone down as well. And then now they're just gonna finish it anyway. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it's. Uh, yeah, uh, too much strife can't do anything at this point. Uh, this is definitely GG. You think? Nah, I yeah, think I think yeah. that's too, er too early to call it. I think if they're gonna lose a gen, then yeah. You're probably right, but I think if they pull off a couple of good team fights, they might still make a comeback, even though they are already what? What is it? Thirteen and a half. Wow, thousand behind. That's a, that, that is a that is a tremendous loss, especially now they're getting the next ball there. Uh, not Pinar's trying to contest it by poking him. It's a bit too early. I mean, the Harrier is just popped in. Trixie and Featherstone goes down. I think he. What is that word? Premature. <laughs> he just attacked them prematurely. <laughs> is, is, is that a word? I'm not sure. <laughs> we can see the cursed one on um, Baldir as well. There, so. Definitely n not a very good place by uh, Napunas. They're getting a dark wave. At the same time, Kaido Kaidos is pushing. Napunas died seven times. Wow. Yeah. Let's take a look at that gold graph as well. You should uh, probably look at the team fight instead. I am, I am. I just popped it up as well. And a hex pain on Trixie there. They plundered the wave. The tower goes down by the Trixie pot. Pandas yeah. having issues. Now cool guys having issues. Ooh. Eiffel almost goes down. Yeah, but Eiffel's quickly back up. Yeah. I think I think Are you're you right. Sure this is not GG? <laughs> when they get this gen, then I think it's gone. Yeah. Napinash just went in there and just like, hey, here, have another kill, guys. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it, it's all he could do. It's all he could try to do. Cool guy goes down. I think this is GG. Crux's uh, things. <laughs> is that gonna do anything? Yeah, I think it's something, but. Yeah, but at the same time. If this crux will stand, they will get the no. gen. If this is GG. Yeah, yeah this is GG. GG. Wow. So, Kettleman Joe's team goes into the final. Congratulations, guys. Uh, ref, ref team did put up a good fight. I expected a little more from Nappy myself. Uh, but, yeah, what can you do against Zaku and Aya on one lane? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really strong lineup they had there. Like... Uh, that early push, uh, it kind of won them the game, to be honest. Well, what do you think, viewers? Uh, what do y what will you counter against the Zaku Aya lane? I mean, hmm, this is really hard for me to to think about that. I'm, I mean, I I would maybe go for like a Ray Hill, something like that, something that you can poke or a Moxie. It's really hard to do though.